what is up guys welcome to bro beats today i'm gonna show you how to install plugins i'm gonna install two i'm gonna install this one this is gonna be pretty fast all right and i think this is a standalone vst so i'll show you how to do that and then it's isotope and i got these from plugin boutique all right they have a sale right now so if you're watching this real time you can go over there and check that out um they have a bunch of like 60 percent off sale sales on vsts and stuff so i'm gonna show you this the extra like the beginning of extracting it and then like the setup and then the activation obviously throughout this video i might have to blur some stuff out just because of personal information and all that stuff to protect myself and you know all right you guys know so when you get your folder it should be like winrar like a logo or like this kind of zip compressed file what you want to do is right click all right go to extract to whatever folder all right i do this so it's all organized okay let me pull this over move that double click and let me pull this everything keeps going to this screen so i have to pull it over um ideally you just click here now read the manual first if you're talking about you don't know how to install plugins read the manual first all right that's how you kind of learn how to do it that's how the you know what i'm saying that's how you learn but double click expose setup now i think this is a standalone so i'm not sure if it's gonna load an fl when we do that now this will pop up i don't think you can see this or windows will allow people to see this but just click yes to allow the app to make changes to your device um if you have a cracked version of a vst this can be deadly to your computer but um usually not but i'm just letting you know all right if you're doing that but the setup is going to be kind of the same all right click yes let's pull this all right just click accept okay now with this i think this plugin is actually a standalone a plugin i installed it already and i tried to put it in there but i was like i'm gonna just save it for the tutorial um so i think it is a standalone because usually it would say vsts right here so i'm gonna just click so with this if you're not sure like this isotope i know that's not a standalone as far as like you know i know it's meant to be a vst um but this i would say just click default always just click default from the beginning so if you have no vsts installed right now um i'll show you I'll, you'll see this later but just click the default just keep clicking next pretty much unless there's something like crucial that you want to do all right so i'm going to click next okay for this plugin all right and this just click next is just the the folder name and I just keep that default so everything is kind of like organized. All right. And you got the, yeah. So this might be a standalone since it's saying create a desktop uh, shortcut. So I'm not going to, yeah, I'm going to just leave it. Now click next. All right. And it's going to show you like, oh, you know, this is everything you clicked and everything you did. Install. And this one should be, yeah, it's pretty fast. So finish. Now I'm going to go into more detail with this one because it's a larger, um, higher quality plugin. So click here. Now this will pop up, double click. All right, this admin rights thing will pop up. Click yes. Again, if you have a cracked version, be, you know, be a little, you know, cautious because sometimes you give rights to viruses and that could be really bad and you will lose everything, especially like ransomware or anything. You don't want that. So just be, make sure if you're, if you are cracking software and you're doing that, make sure you're getting it from a good source or something because i'm sure you don't want to lose all your stuff so this box will pop up click ok all right you pick your language or whatever click ok all right i'm gonna wait till this pops up all right so let me pull this all right same kind of process the logo and everything is there click next except this is kind of like for every program it's going to look like this anyway you want to accept the agreement next now this part is the part i'm gonna show you i can see it defaults to my program files and i would just click next here if it was just if i was just doing this without recording so i'm gonna show you two ways all right let's go up here all right so you have your program files all right and then you have your uh i mean your program files x86 which is a 32-bit you have a 32-bit computer um, which means your computer is outdated and slow pretty much and your uh program program files x uh 64 bit this is like the newer computers 
everyone should have this anyway um and you can see like my plugins down here this was an accident because i was just clicking through stuff when i first got my computer my vsts and you know but i don't use this folder just to clarify i don't want to confuse people so i have a 64 bit so ideally i will click here scroll down all right and click on vsts click ok all right and it should look like this now usually here it says steinberg um some vsts probably this one because it's a higher quality um company and everything they they would default your 64 bit to a steinberg or something why i don't know maybe it loads faster or something but i just want all my plugins in one folder so i'm gonna click vst plugins but i'm gonna show you the x86 just for visual representation all right so program files x86 this is 32 bit all right now go down go down um again you can do the steinberg but i suggest you just put in the vsts because that's the default folder for every single daw is the vst plugins folder in the program files so you will click ok and you know keep going so i'm going to click cancel because i already have mine all right now click ok i mean next all right you can see this has you know you can choose your installation i just do full just do full always because if you buy something or you just get something you want the full you know everything you got you paid for or whatever so just do that click next all right now this here is your username okay i just may put this as your you know user so you know this is your computer name um the documents here okay um just do this default this if you move this folder it could it could create some problems later like when you install presets and stuff and the program won't know where you know because the program is already like program you know what am i saying the vst setup is programmed to know where all these things are and it's going to be embedded in your vst later so if you change it it could you know have some issues later like omnisphere is most known for this so i would just click default okay go to next all right you can see my 64 bit says steinberg i want mine in the vst so i'm just going to delete this or actually i'll show you all right so i'll click out of there you can see i'm in program files i'm going to go down vst plugins and click ok i'm not going to do anything else okay there's some other cool things you can do but i'm not going to show you that that will go into like some really techie stuff so click next you can see it does it again all right now i just want this in the vsts so let's just click out of there all right now click next same thing with the last plugin just keep clicking next for this just click next it'll create some icons you can delete them later all right the confirmation page and then you install all right i already have this installed i believe i do i know i have a demo version so I, i'm gonna just install it anyway so you can see it install all right and then i'm gonna fast forward this part some things might pop up like um some issues but just click ignore usually it's just probably like one file that's not working but it should your plugin will still work it's just you know computer might not have certain files or whatever I click next and you can launch the application but i'm gonna do that in fl i'm gonna go to finish all right now let me pull up fl real quick quick all right so now when you come in fl what you want to do now since i already have these i had the demo version of iris installed and i already did install exposed so hopefully these pop up here just so you can see what yours would look like so what you want to do is go to add okay and then go to refresh plugin list fast scan okay always go here it's just the easiest way so i'm going to click that it might go fast if it goes fast then i'm not going to cut it out but if it's slow i'm just going to fast forward this part
all right so in the last clip all you saw was me just um install another plugin that i bought from plugin boutique and i just wanted to show you visually this so you know what to look for so now this next part i cannot show you because it is personal information that's why this is blocked out all right so i'm gonna explain something so you really need to listen up i'm gonna try to just do this quickly all right so when you install plugins if you do it from the official site it would be a lot more straightforward all right what will happen is you'll probably get an email or something that you bought this and it'll give you a link to create an account so if you buy from native instruments or something um you probably won't have to go through this really but you'll buy the plugin you know give you you'll create an account and everything and then you have to go to your account and register and then it'll give you the download you will go to your download and then you'll actually put the serial number they gave you into there and it'll verify your account with like your email and your name all right and it'll check your account for the serial number and if it's there it'll you know it'll activate that's pretty much kind of like the template of how it will go if you you know bought from the official site usually now if you bought from a third party like me um i do that because you get deals all right i'm not paying full price for no you know plug-in um i do plug-in boutique it's a little bit more modern and i just it just feels safer but there's other uh sites but for me plug-in boutique what will happen you'll buy the plug-in from there they'll give you a serial number all right now from there they will send you an email and the company should create you an account all right if they don't then create one but they should create you an account all right automatically now with that being said just check your email always check your spam your email anything like that when you buy a plug-in third party because i'm sure they will send you an email telling you instructions on what to do well, i'm gonna tell you kind of how it will go all right so you'll do that you have your account so once you do that you have to reset your password so you can get back in so you'll click the link in the email to reset your password or just go to the site um, and do your little you know account creation when you log in um what you want to do is look for like maybe purchase history um registration activation um serial numbers um vsts purchase vsts downloadable content anything like that i'm saying that because each this is isotope all right so it's going to be different from you know the company that makes expand or sonavox or anything it's going to be different because they do different they're different companies so i'm just kind of giving you an overview of what will happen i can't really show you this information i wish i could but i can't um so that you do that and then you take the serial you got from the third party okay like plugin boutique they'll give you a serial you take that and you copy and paste it into your registration on your account all right so if you're isotope it'll say um serials all you have to do is click it and save it and it'll say add it to your account and what that doing is like the confirmation that you bought the you know vst next thing you do you come open your vst right now that your your information is um online at the actual uh, um, company right now the second part you want to connect that information to the vst that you downloaded right so that's why this box is here all right, it's gonna check, confirm is, is the name right, all right? Really the email only matters in the serial. So when you copy that same serial you got from that, um, your third party, you copy it in there and then you put your email and it's gonna check when you authorize it. All right, I'm gonna have to put another box up here. When you authorize it, it's gonna, you know, kind of connect to that server and see if you're a real person or whatever, all right? You click submit and then it should be like, but thank you for registering with us blah 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 you know all that all right so now i'm gonna just talk about something real quick now if you have a cracked plugin okay you have a cracked plugin if you crack plugins well first of all if you do not know how to even install a plugin if you're watching this video you should not be even cracking plugins in the first place because it's dangerous it's not good for your computer but if you do do it i know producers do it we all have done it before um I'm gonna go through that because at least I can, you know, show you how to do it correctly. So what you would do, same process as this video, the beginning of the video, same process, except here. All right, you'll probably get instructions. You wanna read the instructions always. I'm sure there's gonna be like a readme file. All right, and there probably will be a key gen. Most likely there'll be like a key gen or a serial. They'll put a serial in there. If there's a serial number in there, 
um you probably don't have to worry about anything you just you just copy it and paste it and go offline so that's what would happen you'll probably go offline you'll click this offline authorization um put the serial they gave you or in the key gen um this will give you a response code or something and then in the key gen you'll put that response code in there and then what you would do is uh click okay or whatever and it'll push out another code in the key gen and then you want to put that into the um what would it be called i don't know the registration or the next form whatever it's asking you the authorization key or whatever all right and then what you can do is press okay and it'll connect or whatever since you're offline it's going to be a lot easier so it would just automatically connect and say okay yeah this works this is a valid key and you will be in there and you will have the vst all right some key gens you have to patch it first patch all right i can't really show you all that that is a consequence of you cracking the plugin you kind of on your own with that i'm trying to help you in this video but there's only so much i can do legally all right so that's how you install plugins hopefully this helps you out i really want to help out as much as i could but um after thinking about it before making the video i'm kind of like oh, i can't show that because people you know how the internet is people anything you do they try to get over on you so i can't really show too much information but i try to show as much as i can and try to slow down the process this video is about 14 minutes long so yeah so hopefully this video helped you out leave a like if it did if you have any questions in the comments i'm sure somebody can help you and i will help you and respond if you have any questions about crack plugins or whatever uh definitely go in the comment section and ask and then maybe i can help you out there or someone else can um and i'll see you guys in the next one peace